Your kid needed new boots and now they won't fit in the bindings. Most kids' ski bindings are adjustable. Keep watching and I'll show you how to quickly adjust kids' ski bindings to fit their new boots. There are some important numbers on the ski boot that you need to pay attention to. On this boot, it's located on the inside of the heel. 23, 23.5, 27.6 millimeters. That's the total length of the boot from the back of the heel to the front of the toe. Sometimes those measurements are included on the bottom of the boot. Once you know the size of the boot, look at the binding to see if it has indications of where to start as a reference. This binding adjusts in both the front and the rear of the binding. Look for some sort of lever or something to pull up to be able to slide the binding back and forth on the track. For these Roxy bindings, there's a lever here that you pull up. It allows the binding to slide back and forth. The adjustment on the rear of the binding is this metal bracket. You just pull it up and you can slide the binding back and forth on the rear. This boot was a 276. So I'm going to start by adjusting the front to the 270 mark. Because this boot's a 276, it falls right in between the 270 mark and the 280. You may have to try the 280 if it's too tight for the 270 to fit. Now that the front's set, you can see some adjustment needs to be made in the rear. You just lift up that lever and adjust it to where the heel, and adjust it to where the heel just touches the back of the binding. You should be able to force the boot into place now. The next step is to adjust the DIN that controls how easily the boot pops in and out of the binding if there is a crash. The different numbers on top with the white line control how easily the binding pops off. To make that adjustment, there's typically a screw on the front of the binding. Turning it in or out adjusts the white line to indicate what setting the DIN is. Most bindings, a lower number means the ski will pop off easier. I've got this set to 0.5 to show you how easy the boot will pop out. Most modern kid bindings also have a DIN adjustment on the back. A good starting point is to set the DIN to what was set at the front, but sometimes these can be different. They adjust the same way with the screw in the rear of the binding, with the white line indicating what the DIN is set at. These boots are about as big as these bindings can accept. You can see it's maxed out at the back here. If you're trying to make adjustments to ski bindings for your kid's boots and there's not enough room in the back to make the adjustment, an option would be to have the skis remounted, which requires removing these screws and adjusting the binding to fit a bigger size boot. But typically by that point, your kids are going to need a larger ski. I hope this was helpful showing you how to adjust your kid's ski bindings. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. If you like YouTube videos on outdoor gear, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're shopping for some outdoor gear and looking for a good deal online, be sure to check out our website, gearchase.com, where we search hundreds of different online retailers for the best prices.